The Dreadnought class submarine represents the future of the United Kingdom's nuclear deterrent, designed to replace the aging Vanguard class ballistic missile submarines, SSBN, that have served as the backbone of the UK's continuous at sea deterrence since the 1990s. Named after the revolutionary HMS Dreadnought battleship of 1906 and the UK's first nuclear powered submarine launched in 1960, the Dreadnought class carries a storied legacy of naval innovation. This new class of four submarines, HMS Dreadnought, HMS Valiant, HMS Warspite, and HMS King George VI, is being developed to maintain the UK's strategic nuclear posture into the mid-21st century. With a projected service life extending into the 2060s, these submarines embody cutting-edge technology, advanced stealth capabilities, and a commitment to sustaining the UK's role as a global nuclear power. The UK has maintained a continuous at-sea nuclear deterrence since 1969, initially with the Resolution-class submarines carrying Polaris missiles, followed by the Vanguard-class with Trident 2D5 missiles. The Vanguard-class, built by Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering Limited, now BAE Systems, at Barrow in Furness, entered service in the 1990s, with an intended lifespan of approximately 25 years. In 2006, the UK Ministry of Defence published a white paper concluding that a new class of ballistic missile submarines was the most effective means of maintaining this deterrent. Parliament approved the programme in 2007, and after years of concept analysis and design, the House of Commons gave final approval in July 2016 to construct four Dreadnought-class submarines. The Dreadnought program, initially referred to as the Successor Program, was officially named in 2016, with the lead boat, HMS Dreadnought, beginning construction that year at BAE Systems Barrow in Furnace Shipyard. The program is managed by the Dreadnought Alliance, a partnership between the Ministry of Defense's Submarine Delivery Agency, BAE Systems, and Rolls-Royce, which is responsible for the nuclear propulsion system. The submarines are expected to enter service in the early 2030s. The program reflects the UK's commitment to an independent nuclear deterrent, assigned to NATO's collective security, and builds on the 1958 US-UK Mutual Defense Agreement, which facilitates collaboration on nuclear technology, including the Trident missile system shared with the United States. The Dreadnought-class submarines are the largest ever built for the Royal Navy, measuring 153.6 meters in length, equivalent to three Olympic swimming pools, and displacing 17,200 tons submerged, an 8% increase over the Vanguard class. Each submarine will be powered by a Rolls-Royce Pressurized Water Reactor 3 PWR-3, a significant advancement over the PWR-2 used in the Vanguard and Astute classes. The PWR-3, based on a U.S. design but incorporating U.K. reactor technology, features 30% fewer parts, a simpler and safer design, lower maintenance requirements, and a longer operational life. This nuclear propulsion system provides unlimited range and endurance, allowing the submarines to remain submerged for extended periods, limited only by crew provisions. The submarines feature a highly streamlined hull with a low-profile, raked sail and a double-hull design, which enhances stealth by reducing acoustic signatures. A notable innovation is the use of X-form rudders, a first for British submarines, which improve maneuverability and reduce noise compared to traditional cruciform rudders. The submarines are equipped with a pump jet propulsor, the quietest yet developed for the Royal Navy, further enhancing stealth. The hull incorporates 42.5 kilometers of piping, 13,000 electrical items, and over 20,000 cables, reflecting the complexity of the design. Each submarine will house a crew of 130. A unique lighting system simulates day and night cycles to improve crew well-being during long submerged patrols.
The primary armament of the Dreadnought class is the Trident 2D5 ballistic missile, carried in a common missile compartment developed in collaboration with the US for both the Dreadnought and Columbia class submarines. Each submarine has three missile compartments, each containing a quad pack of four missile tubes for a total of 12 tubes. However, only eight tubes will be operational, with the remaining four filled with ballast for stability. Each Trident missile can carry up to eight warheads, though the UK typically deploys fewer to comply with its stockpile limit of 215 warheads, with approximately 120 active at any time. These warheads provide a devastating nuclear capability, with yields estimated between 80 and 100 kilotons, capable of striking targets over 7,000 miles away with high accuracy. The Trident system also offers a sub-strategic strike option, allowing for a lower yield nuclear response if needed, enhancing strategic flexibility. In addition to nuclear missiles, the Dreadnought class will be equipped with four 533mm torpedo tubes for Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes. These torpedoes, capable of engaging surface ships and submarines, have a range of over 30 miles and can deliver a 300kg high-explosive warhead. The inclusion of torpedoes provides a conventional self-defense capability, ensuring the submarine can counter threats during patrols. The integration of advanced sensors, such as the Thales Sonar 2076 system and Lockheed Martin navigation subsystems, enhances situational awareness, ensuring the submarine can operate effectively in contested environments. The potential of the Dreadnought's weaponry lies in its role as the ultimate deterrent. The Trident missiles ensure that any aggressor contemplating an attack on the UK or its allies faces the prospect of catastrophic retaliation, even in the worst-case scenarios. The UK's continuous at-sea deterrence policy guarantees that at least one submarine is always on patrol, undetectable and ready to respond, maintaining the UK's ability to deter existential threats. The Dreadnought program is a cornerstone of the UK's defense industry, delivering significant economic benefits. BAE Systems estimates that the program supports nearly 30,000 jobs across the UK, with around 10,000 at its barrow in Furness shipyard alone. The £7.5 billion supply chain engages 1,500 companies across England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland from small specialized firms to major contractors like Rolls-Royce and Camel Laird. The program drives investment in advanced manufacturing, engineering and technology development, fostering innovation in fields such as nuclear propulsion, stealth technology and material science. The Dreadnought class submarine program is a monumental undertaking that encapsulates the UK's commitment to maintaining a credible, independent nuclear deterrent while advancing naval technology and supporting its industrial base. With its advanced stealth features, PWR-3 propulsion, and Trident missile system, the Dreadnought class ensures the UK can deter existential threats into the mid-21st century. Its economic contributions, supporting tens of thousands of jobs and a £7.5 billion supply chain, underscore its role as a driver of British industry. As the first submarine, HMS Dreadnought, progresses towards sea trials in the early 2030s, the program stands as a testament to the UK's engineering prowess and strategic resolve. However, its success will depend on rigorous oversight, robust funding, and continued international cooperation. Ultimately, the Dreadnought class will carry forward the legacy of its namesakes, ensuring the UK remains a formidable maritime power in an uncertain world.